Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards, and in today's video, as you can see, we're talking about a football game, but not just any football game we were talking about, in my humble opinion, even in the year 2020, the best football game ever made. Yes, this is 16 plus years old. We're talking about ESPN NFL 2K5. Year after year after year with each Madden quote release, because I think it's really just a DLC or a point release update every year, even up to Madden 20, doesn't doesn't even hold a candle to ESPN NFL 2K5, and I'm really going to be probably repetitive from last year's video, but I really want to go through some of the categories that really do still shine in 2020 in regards to ESPN NFL 2K5. Now, in this particular video, I want to delve into the history of ESPN NFL 2K5 and its competition, Madden NFL by EA, because they came out with an insane price of $19.99 for ESPN NFL 2K5, where Madden was shipping for $49.99, and today obviously ships for $59.99 and above for different editions. ESPN NFL 2K5 scared the hell out of EA. And that was a quote directly from one of the EA sports developers. So much so, they reduced their price to $29.95 to compete with ESPN NFL 2K5. And then what they had ended up doing, it was probably the only choice they had instead of trying to make a better game year in and year out, which has been proven that they haven't been able to do. They ended up getting the exclusive license to the NFL. So much so in December 2010, a U.S. District Court judge certified a class action antitrust lawsuit against EA for anti-competitive practices. Uh, and EA ended up settling in the class action lawsuit in July of 2012 for $27 million. Of course, they retained the exclusive NFL license, which was really the only thing I think they could have done to crush uh, ESPN NFL 2K5, and that's why in the 2K8 version, they had to use Legends, and, and that game as well as really just had a community outreach and a community that was so strong that every year they release updated rosters just like ESPN NFL 2K5. So let's talk about those updated rosters because it is really something that I love about games like this and Fire Pro is the community with updated rosters and operation sports forum is the place that i go to to get the updated rosters every year for espn nfl 2k5 now in my case i use an original xbox which is really easy to get the updated rosters from operation sports forum onto the console i just basically use ftp to load the rosters or even in this case you see i have a franchise that i can run on my xbox and then I just load the roster, really, really super easy to do. And as you can see right here, the lineups are current according to, at this case, probably around November, 2019. Now the super cool part is people love to use Photoshop to create custom covers for 2K20. So you don't have to have the one with TO from 2004 on there. You can pretty much have any superstar and any design that you wanna have. And I just put a few here that, it's really, really cool to know the community updates this as well. And the experience from opening up the case with the, with the CD or DVD is seamless and current up into the, the year that you want to play it. So it's really, really cool stuff. So let's talk about presentation because even after 16 plus years, ESPN 2K5 feels more fluid, feels more real, has more heart in the presentation. Chris Berman, ESPN, Skycam, all these different things presentation-wise, the replays are more fluid than Madden in 2020, a game 16 years older than Madden that hasn't been reproduced or updated at all, still has a better feel presentation-wise than the current 2020 version of EA Sports Madden NFL. It, it blows my mind. It's, it's insane how this game is still better in that way and many other ways than the current Madden. So answer me this. How is it a game that's 16 plus years old have a better challenge system within the game than a game that's updated each and every year? I can challenge multiple things like you see right here, whether it be ball spot error, stepped out of bounds. I have to choose one of these things. Multiple ones may be highlighted, but Madden 
we'll do all the work for you. You don't need to actually think and actually have any kind of urgency to make a decision within this game. I want to give you an example from a recent game I played right here on this pass going to Deshaun Jackson. Uh, there was a challenge by Dallas right away. I was trying to no huddle. They challenged the play. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to replay this whole thing, but the actual just workflow of going through the challenges and replaying and everything is just today in 2020 still super cool. So let's go back to the play and replay all this. That's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off of service. Jackson grabs the head coach, is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, you want to challenge? Dallas is challenging one of the pass was caught inbounds. This is their first challenge of the game, and even if they lose this one, they still have one challenge left. Dan, when we check out the replay here, we should be able to see if the catch was made prior to going out of bounds. Oh, that, that's a catch, Dan. He's in bounds. This call's going to stand. After, After review, the play, play stands. Stand. The, the pass was complete. The catch, the catch was, was made prior, prior to going, going out of bounds. bounds. Dallas, Dallas will be charged, will be charged timeout. timeout. First, First down. down. That will cost them a timeout. And now, I just have to go through this once again, because this to me, even after all these years, is a thing of beauty. And it's just amazing that they go through this in 2004 in a game, like I said, that's so much older that Madden can do the same exact thing. They can they can really make the immersiveness of the game much, much better. And this, I feel truly immersed. I'm watching this going, hmm, did he get his foot in? Did he get his knee down? It looks like they might have got the call wrong, but it's all up for discussion, which is fun in sports games to be able to look at that, come back, the call still stands, and then you get the reaction of the coach on the other team, the Dallas Cowboys. I'm glad it went against them, but really, really cool stuff, and I just this makes the game so much fun. I know I covered presentation earlier in the video, but halftime show needs its own level of appreciation in this. Uh, it's a whole new take on the presentation to be able to organically kind of gather the stats, do all this stuff, uh, say the names close enough to what they have and be able to put that stuff in there and have Chris Berman voice it over as the stat trackers on the bottom, as they have the stats between the two teams, as they have everything like right here, as you see, everything is working seamlessly. There's no, there's no real load times either. It's really, really cool how even today, this game can really fluidly do all this stuff, not only during the game, but compile all the stuff for a halftime show that shows the highlights and different camera angles, like right there, the pick six in the beginning of the game and different kinds of commentary throughout this. There's commentary in the game that's really cool, but the commentary in the halftime show is just exceedingly exceptional. There's so many adjectives I could use, but I'm really, really just every time I pick up this game and play it and to be able to go to the halftime show, I don't skip it. I don't hit A to go to the third quarter. I watch every single time the halftime show to see how Chris Berman is, is piecing it together, to see how the game is piecing together, these highlights with the stats and everything. Really, really great stuff. As a matter of fact, at the end of this video, we are going to just play the halftime show with the audio and everything. But please, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell to get notified. I want to start streaming this game more often. I love ESPN NFL 2K5. If you do, comment below. Let me know. This is just an incredible game, and I probably will make another video on this when another op updated roster comes out in 2021, 2022. However long they keep updating this game, I will continue to play it. So thank you guys. God bless you. Have a great day. This one, 28 December. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dan. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. Now let's take a look at the halftime stats. And boy, look at the difference in rushing yards. The Eagles are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. 
Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 21 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Touchdown for the Eagles. The Eagles get the first points of the game and go up by seven. Eagles still early in the first. Carson would find his target on this one. A 28-yard play that set up an Eagle touchdown. The boys midway through the first. Cowboys behind by 14. Cooper came up with a huge play here as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. They climb back into the game, now down by seven. The Eagles answer right back. Power on the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. A 20-yard play that set up an Eagle touchdown. Eagles up 21 to seven. Carson is back to throw. This is nothing more than a little pitch and catch with his wide receiver. A 30-yard play that set up an Eagle touchdown. The Eagles have opened it up and now lead by 21. Eagles late into the second quarter, this time at the 23. Brown was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. And that's where we'll leave this one. Eagles are up big at halftime, 28 to seven. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Power has played like a man possessed. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen. Thanks, Chris. And to